Joe McCoy and Memphis Mini. And please do open the video description for more information concerning the song, the tablature, and the guitar, etc. So uh, I'm in standard tuning. The original version is in uh, E flat. So I have step lower. And of course it was a duet, I had to uh, well, get it down to a solo performance. And it's not a difficult song, only the two signature licks will give you some uh, trouble maybe. Okay, I'm gonna play the first four measures slowly. So, the first single trick is, I'm going to play that in one beat. So, one beat, so we start with a double bass, and the bass is monotonic the whole song through, and I'm muting it slightly. Uh, I'm not going to use the country blues bass because there's too much going on uh, with the trebles, but it's not... That's too much of a straight bass. So I'm slightly muting it, placing my hand on the bridge and touching the strings very slightly. And sometimes I play it open. All right, double bass and then, sorry. Difficult to play it slow. And those bends, they really have to ring true. I'm playing the, that signature lick with the index. And I'm using finger picks for this one because I, normally I play with just a 10 pick or no picks at all. 
uh, but very rarely with finger picks. And these are steel finger picks. Um, but the sound is a bit too tinny, especially in that signature lick uh, when played without picks. So you can make your own choice, of course, uh, whatever you do. Uh, but I chose it to do it this way. And then we have the second uh, signature lick. You can play that all with a temp. But at speed, um, it will be difficult. So I did. Alternating. playing the same thing but with the A in the bass. So slowly one more time. preceded by double bass. So we have another signature lick in measure 8. Open, temp wrap and B7. Another double bass which I accent. Play it one more time the whole thing and the introduction is also the solo so once you know that you have two for the prize of one. the verse also following the introduction and well in the verse I can't really hear what they originally play because they're two guitars mixing and this is what I came up with I tried to follow the vocals uh, in this case which is also makes the singing a bit easier I think so and uh, E7. Now notice that here the bass is muted. With a 
the right hand palm. Uh, otherwise. You don't have a nice division of the beats there, which makes things more swingy, of course. And the bends, I'm doing the, those with two fingers, and they're slide bends. It's not, it's not like that, but just the slide bend. And it's free-handed, no chords. Rose many pies, my hammer's over now. Another pecu peculiarity about the vocals is, normally when we play a blues, you already start to sing <coughs> when you play the E7. Huh? Woke up this morning, la da 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 da. Woke up this morning. You see, the woke up is already sung behind the E7. Here you really start to sing when you play those signature moves and. When you go to the E7 in bar 16, you only start the singing when you go to the A there. All right, let's play it one more time slow with the vocals. Again, but with the A in the bass. Goes many pies, my hammer's over now. That's also a signature lick. The B7 is exactly the same as in the introduction, the solo. And um, I'll go back to the A. In bar 22, we're doing again the same thing as we did before in A. And of course, ending with the signature lick and with the signature turnaround, I could say. Those double basses are really to watch for. All right, I'll do it one more time slowly and uh, with another verse. All the people just understand. if I did it during the performance. Um, in the original version, there's only one uh, slight uh, variation in the singer's lick. Instead of, you can do it just once. But then you have to uh, watch it that it's uh, ringing the full beat. And the ending, um, what did I do? That's not in the tab because, well, I think you should, if you can get this far, you should be able to come up with your own ending. The ending in the original version is just very simple like that. And I did. figure 
or when you play the A, uh, the, the E. Uh, so that's it for Pile Driver Blues. This is a short lesson because there's not that much to tell. If you're able to play the signature licks, then you'll catch on very quickly. And do listen to the original and, well, Memphis Mini in general uh, and the other songs that I did. It's a really uh, fun playing. Okay, have fun. <laughs>